Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here and today we are at Cabrillo Marine Aquarium and we are going to meet the Grunion. Grunion are small silverfish native to California that swarm onto beaches during spring high tide to spawn. Let's head into the aquatic nursery and learn about Grunion with some Cabrillo Marine Aquarium scientists. What can you tell me about these grunion? These are grunion here that we're raising in the aquarium. They're just over two months old right now. These are from one of the grunion runs. We collected their eggs from the fish, uh, fertilized them in a beaker, incubated them here, and we're raising them. So we actually use these fish for a research project on uh, how to keep them in captivity better without them getting scared. And what was the result of your findings? It seemed that the ones in the darkest tank, the control, seemed to be the largest, the fastest swimming, but the ones in the blue tank and the one-way mirror tank did pretty well too. So the ones in the clear tank were quite a bit smaller though, they, and they did not school together like most grunion would, whereas the other ones did. Can you show me how to hatch grunion eggs? My colleague Andres can show you how to do that right over here. Today we are expecting a grunion run. And the way we know that is because tonight is two days after our spring high tide. And that is when the tides are at their highest during the months of March to August. So that's when we know what time to expect them. And it always ends up at night. But what's really fascinating about grunion is they put their eggs in the sand and the eggs themselves will develop in the sand until the next spring high tide, which is typically two weeks. In nature, they would wait for the waves to induce, to tell them it's time to hatch. And you're gonna be the waves for us today. So okay. if you go ahead and take a scoop of that sand there. Add some seawater. And now if you'll cap it, and remember waves are not nice, so you have to give them a really good shake, just okay. like a wave would. We'll be an exciting surf. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Excellent wave action there. Thank you. <laughs> you have given those eggs the, the required stimulus to tell them it's time to hatch. <gasps> There's one. And what's interesting is when they hatch, they release this enzyme that breaks down their egg shell. And that enzyme actually tells their neighbors it's time to hatch. That's really cool. They help each other out. Do these grunion think I'm their mom now? Yes, you are, and you have to name each and every each, single one of them. Each and every baby grunion. So these babies will actually be released into the wild where they'll be able to have an opportunity to come back next year. It only takes them one year to become an adult and come back and deposit eggs. I decided to hatch another jar of grunion eggs. That means I'm mom to these grunion too. Did you know that the plural of grunion is grunion? These grunion babies are so cute and tiny. They're even tinier when they're still inside their eggs. Let's put one under a microscope and check it out. This is a fertilized grunion egg under a microscope. Here is the grunion's heart, and here we can see its blood flowing through its body. If the grunion do run tonight, millions of these microscopic eggs will end up in the sand. Cabrillo Marine Aquarium has grunion run programs in the evenings after the aquarium has closed. Check out cabrillomarineaquarium.org to find out when you can meet the grunion. At about 10 p.m., we headed from the aquarium to the beach, hoping to see some grunion. We're out on the beach and it's nighttime because the grunion are about to run. What that means is they're gonna come up onto the beach and spawn, hopefully, if it's a good spawning night. And I have my little jug of babies that I have to release into the ocean. And I have a scientist lab coat, so that makes me official. Okay, so we've just looked out at the beach and there's a ton of really old kelp just lining the entire beach. So it might be hard for the grunion to come up tonight because they need to lay their eggs in uh, sand. So uh. a female fish will usually bury herself in the sand and the males will wrap around her and fertilize the eggs. Uh, so they might not be able to do that in the deep kelp. It almost feels like walking over really deep mud out there. Got so. it. Unfortunately, the grunion decided not to run tonight, but I'm gonna release my grunion babies. Get 
Now they're out free in the wild. Even though the Grenion decided not to run tonight, we still learned a ton at the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. If you want weekly ocean and conservation information, click subscribe, and I will see you next Friends with Fins Friday. Thanks for watching.